So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can make money promoting affiliate products for a commission on Pinterest. And I truly believe that Pinterest is one of the most slept on opportunities right now. It's not like any other social media platform because it is a visual search engine, right? People are typing in what you are going to be posting about, making it very powerful. It's not like TikTok or Instagram where you post something and it can either blow up or just fizzle away, never to be seen again. Your content will be on Pinterest for years and years to come. All right. So Pinterest right now has 498 million active users every single month. And before we actually find a product to promote, we also need to understand the majority of the people using Pinterest. And right here we can see the audience insights of Pinterest and they are 63% female. So we want to promote a product that is skewed towards women because that is the majority of users of Pinterest. We don't wanna be promoting a product where the target audience is men, okay? So that's important to understand. Now, let's pick out a product to promote from ClickBank. So if you're not familiar with ClickBank, it is one of the world's largest affiliate marketplaces where you can sign up for free and get access to thousands of products that you can promote for a commission. So once you are in your dashboard, scroll down to affiliate marketplace, and now we can actually choose from the products to promote. But this is where a lot of people get hung up, they get overwhelmed because they're not sure which product is actually going to convert the best, but it's really easy. So again, we are focusing on a product on Pinterest to promote that is skewed towards women. So I'm gonna go into the home and garden section and I wanna sort results by gravity high to low. And the gravity is a really important number to remember. So the gravity score is a score based on the number of unique affiliates that are generating sales promoting this exact product. So what does that mean for you? That means the higher the gravity score, the more people are making money promoting it, okay? So we don't want a gravity score of zero, right? This product has a gravity score of 132. It's a very healthy gravity score and it probably converts really, really well. But I already know this product, it's Ted's Woodworking and this is geared towards men. So we don't wanna be creating content on Pinterest around this. Let's go down a little bit and we'll see this product now. It is called Brain Training for Dogs. It is a dog training course. So that is easily, uh, that can be easily sold to women and men. So it's not geared towards one or the other, all right? And it pays a $45 commission, a good commission, and it has a 48 gravity score, which is still a good gravity score as well. So now that we have the product that we are going to promote, let's create the affiliate site. Okay, so this is the affiliate site I already had built out. And something I wanna point out with affiliate marketing in general is I think a lot of people get overwhelmed at the technical side of affiliate marketing, right? Building your website. So if you want a free affiliate marketing website with a high converting product, click the link in the description below. There's a short video where you can watch all the details, how you can get your own affiliate marketing website, along with some extra goodies that will really help you in this journey, okay? So this is the site itself. We have a headline with a little bit of copy and content about what you can expect from this product, okay? So we need to actually get our uh, affiliate link to put on our own affiliate website. So how we do that is go into ClickBank, click promote right here. You're gonna enter in your affiliate nickname. Now you can get that into your ClickBank dashboard, go to users and your nickname will show right here. Now I have two, two accounts within my main account, but you will uh, start off with only one. So you just grab that nickname, put it in here, add a tracking ID if you want, the landing page will go to the uh, regular sales page and then generate a hop link. So a hop link is just a fancy way of saying your affiliate link. Then I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it into this button by going to set action and paste, okay? So now we have our affiliate link and I'm gonna add it down here as well. Set action, paste. All right, and save. Now, a big reason or a big issue that I see with people is they direct link. What is direct link? They just grab this 
hop link, this affiliate link right here, and they just put it on Pinterest or they put it on social media and they wonder why, number one, they're gonna get banned uh, because you can't direct link. Number two, people aren't gonna click this link. This is a, a true affiliate link but it looks so sketchy that people aren't gonna click it. You're gonna have a very low click-through rate. They're not gonna trust that link. That is why we need to create an affiliate website around the link itself. And I see this a lot with people talking about Pinterest when they use a link shortening service, maybe like Bitly, they grab their affiliate link and they have a Bitly account. That's not gonna work either. You're gonna get banned with that. Same with Amazon Associates. If you create a uh, your affiliate link with that and just put it into Pinterest, you're gonna get banned using those links. That's why you have to have some kind of bridge between between uh, you and the product that you're promoting itself. And that's where this website comes in handy. Okay, so we have that saved. Now let's see how it looks. We click start now. Yes, I want this. And then it goes right to the sales page where we would get a commission if you purchase. Okay, so now let's go over and start actually coming up with some pin ideas, some Pinterest pin ideas. All right, now we want to drive traffic with our pins, but it has to be relevant to the product that we are promoting. Always keep that in mind. It has to be relevant. It can't be irrelevant. Otherwise, you are just going to get traffic that isn't actually going to purchase from you or isn't actually engaged with the type of content that you're creating. So we are creating a dog training course. So we wanna create content around people that have behavioral issues with their dogs. Maybe they are a new dog owner. Maybe they just got a puppy. Maybe they have a, uh, they adopted an older dog that has aggression issues, right? We want to create content around the issues that uh, the problem that our product that we're promoting solves, okay? So I'm gonna go into ChatGPT and I'm just gonna write, write out a list of five behavioral issues that new dog owners face. All right, we're gonna start with that. House training, chewing and destructive behavior, leash reactivity and pulling, separation anxiety, and jumping up on people. Perfect. Those are five content ideas that we can start off with. All right, now I'm gonna tell ChatGPT, Turn each into an engaging SEO focused title and description for a Pinterest pin. Very simple, very easy. Now we have our pin ideas and our content. Now let's start actually creating the images for our pins. So I'm going to use this title, for example, Mastering House Training, Five Tips for New Dog Owners. But keep in mind that we're not giving away tips on our page. So it should be relevant, right? So instead, I might just remove the number five and I just might put tips for new dog owners to keep it consistent and congruent with the landing page, with the traffic that's going to go from the pin to the actual affiliate site. All right. So let's go over to Canva and we are going to search for Pinterest. I'm just going to search Pinterest and see the templates that come up. So all of these are the different templates, but I want to search dog and see what comes up because I want relevant dog images and you can see they start to show up and let's go with this one. Perfect. So we're going to grab this uh, template and start to actually add this title over here. So mastering house training, five tips for new dog owners. But again, we're going to remove the five. So it's that easy, just paste it. And maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger, mastering house training. And maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller. Five tips, or tips for new dog owners. Delete that, drag that down a little bit. Perfect, all right. Now let's go ahead and actually save it. We're gonna download it onto our computer so then we can upload it onto Pinterest. Save. Perfect. Now we have our image, we have our title, our description. Now let's go over to Pinterest and actually start to upload it. So one thing to keep in mind when you are creating a Pinterest account, you want to start, you're going to start with a personal account, but you want to actually transfer it to a business account. All you have to do is click this uh, down button over here, 
go to settings and it will give you an option to transfer your personal account to a business account. The business account is gonna give you more analytics, more insight into it, all right? Then we're gonna create our pen. Just click these three arrows down here, or three dashes over here, create, create pin, and now we're off to the races. So we're gonna choose a file and we just created the file. We're gonna upload that. And now let's grab the title, right? But I'm gonna remove five. So mastering house training tips for new dog owners. Now I wanna grab the description that it, that it generated, add the description, and now here comes the fun part. We're gonna add our link, right? Again, we're not direct linking. We're actually using a true affiliate site link, okay? So I have this one here, the obedient doggo paste. Choose board. I don't have any boards, but I can create one. Let's say dog training, create, and then tags. So you can type in something like, dog quotes, dog training, puppy, puppy care, right? Things that are relevant to what you're actually posting about. And then we're gonna click publish. So there you have it. That is how you promote affiliate products for a commission on Pinterest. Now, remember to start slow when you're doing this. You don't wanna be posting 50 pins every single day you could potentially get marked as spam. You wanna make sure that your pins are unique. And just remember that this is going to compound over time as you post more and more pins, you're gonna start getting more exposure, more clicks, and more affiliate sales with this strategy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you're gonna like the videos at the top. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.